went in and out. How do you feel right now about the depth of your defense overall? <laughs> How do I feel? Uh, I think our defensive line has depth. I think our secondary has depth. I think that our linebackers, we need to get some depth, and we, we've said that from day one, guys. You know, I don't try to be a jerk, but I'm an honest man, and I don't like, oh, anyway, I, I thought our inside backers, we played some guys outside. You know, we're young back there. I mean, like I said, Christian French was gonna play more. He got hurt. Uh, I wasn't ready to just play to Ronnie Prevost as a true freshman, and O'Shea Lewis as a redshirt freshman that early, and therefore, we got to develop some depth. Nice. I'm kicking myself in the butt for not playing them more, but they got a lot of in the third quarter and fourth sure. quarter. They got a lot. Of, they got a lot of playing time. You know, Nick, with just with with this whole complex, you've been around for for a long, long time. What do you kind of an old school hard 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 nails coach? You know, what do you think of new kind of the new age kind of complex? I'll say like it this way, and I, I got to be careful for this too. But I'll say it this way: I'm appreciative of what people have done. Uh, I think there's an outstanding building. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's state of the art, maybe the finest building in the country. But to me, the guys in the uniform are more important than all this stuff and how we act on and off the field and how hard we play. And I hope that we are not, uh, and I'm not saying we are, I hope we don't become a bunch of guys that feel like we're entitled uh, because. It's not, I come from humble beginnings. When you go to a Division II school at UC Davis, you don't have much. Uh, when I started here with Rich Brooks, we didn't have much. We went to the Rose Bowl without this kind of stuff. This is nice. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. I want to make sure everybody understands. I'm, per I'm very appreciative of what they've given us. But to me, I hope we understand what it really takes. And it's not about the bells and whistles. It's about the Johnnies and the Joes. Right. Are you happy with what you saw out of Toronto today? Yeah, initially I am. You know, I have to watch the film to see, but initially I am. It's hard when you're calling, the, making calls to really evaluate each guy. But he got his feet wet. He got to play a lot of football. Cody Carragher, I mean, I played nine outside backers. I mean, it's hard to play that many guys and give anybody meaningful plays. But yeah, we'll come back. I, I wanted Bo and Tony to dominate and, and it to be feel good to me before I made a lot of wholesale substitutions. Nick, what's the, what's the ideal rotation as far as backers go? Ideal, I'd like to play, if to Rodney, you know, he needs a little bit more sunups and sundowns, you know, a little bit more seasoning. If to Rodney and Christian can, can spell us for a couple of snaps, and we got Bo and, and uh, Moseko and uh, Tony, and I could bring O'Shea along, who just moved there for about a week, those five guys will play, but, I can't, like some great coach once said, it's not an intramural program. Coached under a couple of different coaches. Yeah. How do you like the way, you know, his system works in terms of allowing, in terms of what he's allowing you to do with the defense? And, you know, I guess, I guess part of that is too, you know, it, is it different than what Chip was doing? Or? Chip Kelly was for four years. Mm -hmm. Never said one word to me during a game on the headset. Mm -hmm. In four years. Right. Mark didn't say a word to me. <laughs> I mean, that may or may, or may not change, I don't know. Mark has been fabulous. Uh, he's let us do our thing. Um, I'm not totally, like, jumping up and down about the way we played. I don't want to, you know, I mean, I mean, I want to snuff people out, you know, but it doesn't happen nowadays. In fact, I just walked out and Oregon State was losing to Eastern Washington. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, be thankful for a win, I mean. I'm not going to sit here and apologize for a 60-63 win, I guarantee you that. Because next week we have enough to, uh, another tough opponent away and we'll see what happens there. Nick, I, Nick, I started to ask you about Eric Armstead. He came in, he showed great quickness off the ball, he showed his great length getting after the quarterback after the uh, A-Bear. That has to be a real feeling for you along with the other defensive players. I, I'm very pleased with Armstead, DeForest, Haler, Wade. Ricky, our D line is, is is good. I mean, thirty nine is either thirty nine or thirty seven carries for eighty nine yards is less than three. Or, I mean, that's like two point something if you do the math. That's pretty good. And I think their longest run was the quarterback scramble for eighteen yards. So we gave it one long scramble and one long pass. If I can remember, uh, there might have been another long pass somewhere.
I know you got to go watch film, but were there were there any plays during the game where you kind of wow, that was that was a great effort on defense? Uh, I guess the Raheem Cassell play where he, we either got a fumble or an interception. I don't know what they counted that as. Do you guys know? I think they called it a fumble. Yeah, that was a nice play because we came from behind and knocked the ball out. Um, we stripped the ball late and we didn't get a fumble there. I think the guy was down.